negative language has such an impact on people psychologically, you know, physically, like, you know, if somebody, te like, if somebody, you know, gives, says some sort of comment, you know, passing by to me, and like that lingers with me, or if, you know, somebody cat calls you, that stays with you in the back of your head. And that can really bring you down or like completely change like even, you know, an outfit choice that you were gonna, you know, make or something like that. I tend to wake up in the morning and automatically think about makeup. Um, just because I know that if I don't leave my house without makeup, it's gonna make me feel, you know, uh, some type of way. Um, someone may look at me and think, oh, she doesn't look, you know, she doesn't look right today. She doesn't, you know, have her makeup on, she doesn't have her lashes on. I went to a school where I was the two out of, yeah, there was only two of us who were black. Um, so everyone else, middle class, um, white girls. So image there was sort of flipped upside down. I'd grown up seeing all these curvaceous, really full ladies um, shaped beautifully, <laughs> as beautiful, and then I come to school and they're admiring, you know, if your hip bone sort of poke, pokes out of your jeans, that's what's really, really pretty. So it just sort of, it knocked what I'd always known to be beautiful. Now you've got, it's a fashion trend. It will go from, oh, having a big chest is good, but it won't be okay in a couple of months. And the general theme is that to be beautiful, and I know it's from the media, but it's also from society, you've got to be slim. And it's just, it's ridiculous. I think um, society does have a lot to do with um, how a woman thinks and feels on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and I think that kind of stems from what we see on TV. Um, so, in this day and age, we see people like Kim Kardashian, Beyonce, you know, superstars, I guess. Um, and it appears to us that they kind of live their life with makeup and lashes. They kind of wake up perfect. Completely. But then I think they always have been, but it's a different sexualised community at the moment. It's really forefronted by I suppose culture and society, it's been okay now, especially for young men to speak to women in a certain way, to think of them as sexualised when, at any age really, from like a young teenager, but the boys of the same age are thinking that. It's just the way, with the internet even, how things are just growing and adapting, people expect a lot more. I think, yeah, there's a huge neglect, almost like a taboo, I'd say, associated with um, talking about, you know, tell, you know, kind of educating young women on um, their bodies, their body image, uh, their sexuality. Uh, I just felt like it was completely, like, kind of pushed aside, like, nobody really brought it up. Um, Boys had more education about the female body. Would that take some pressure off girls? No, because I think boys are always going to be attracted to what they're attracted to. So, and girls are always going to want to feel beautiful and feel like they look a certain type of way. Even the ones that were pretty or that got attention from guys from from the get go, they would feel confident, but they'd still be priming and propping them. It's like a natural thing, I think. Um, and girls, that we do it to ourselves. We we often impress ourselves rather than guys. So. If a guy looks, it might be a bonus, but if a girl's like, oh my gosh, you look really, really nice, from young, from like 13 up till whenever, that's what makes you really feel good. That's what, that's what kind of validates whether you look good or not, I think. I think just to be educated, um, just from an actual woman, to be honest, um, whether it be a mum or a sister, a friend, just to kind of give the real life facts. Um, because technically you are being sold a full story not every woman looks like Kim Kardashian you know after 200 personal training sessions not everyone you know has the perfect body image not everyone is perfect so I really do think it is down to just being purely educated from a young age an appropriate age <laughs>